goodness, listen, y'all. Worship was Wednesday. We back. Again. Listen, <laughs> we know we haven't been consistent. And I'm sorry to the people that subscribe and was following us. And y'all like, Daddy fell off. Yes, we fell off hard. <laughs> fell off. <laughs> but um, look, y'all. We're in the process of moving from Philly to Michigan. We're in a hotel right now. Um, we done sold the house. Um, mm -hmm. um, it's been crazy, y'all. It's been a crazy journey. People canceling on us. The move the furniture and us throwing a lot of stuff away. Trying to keep the kids calm. But the Lord was with, it, with us through it all. Tonight, we just got a few verses. And we standing up, y'all, because... We, we can't sit down right now. We're exhausted, but we just wanted to do this. Worship with us one of these things. We usually sit down on the couch or something like that. We just wanted to do it with y'all like this, okay? Um, we have a song that we're going to do. What's the song for? Um, wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, y'all. Wherever he leads. If God is telling you to do something. And I'm not talking about a fake God. I'm talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. Not what your friend told you, not what Aunt Boo Boo told you, not what Cousin Rashida told you. I'm talking about what well, God can speak to people, but I'm talking about if you've been in devotion, in prayer, and you've been praying about something, you got a call on your life. I heard a pastor say this recently. If you got a call in your life, stop playing games. Step out on faith and follow that call, okay? If you got a call in your life, walk in that calling. I'm telling you. It's a lot of people right now laughing at us, saying, oh my goodness, y'all making a step. Why y'all going to Michigan? Michigan, 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 Michigan this, Michigan that, Detroit this, Detroit that. You need a gun. You need a bulletproof vest. You need this. You need that. Man, look, God done worked it out for us already. There's so many blessings that came our way and people waiting for us. Jobs are waiting for us up there. People saying, you know, whether you're going to have a job or not, right, fool? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I mean, I'll just let everybody talk. And I just, I really want to go at people, but I'm not going to do that because there's, there's no need. There's no need. There's no need. But um, just to share a few verses with y'all that I came across. Matthew 10, 39. It said, whoever finds their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Matthew 19, 29. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or fills for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. Let me just break that down. Y'all like, damn, why are you going to leave your wife? Why are you going to leave your kids? Why you gonna leave your father? Why you gonna leave your mother? That's not just telling you to get up and just leave your wife, abandon her. It's not telling you to do that. Don't twist scripture, y'all. It's telling you if you got a call in your life, you follow that call in agreement with your family, in agreement with the word of God. Of course, you and your wife gotta agree. I mean, but you follow that call. You follow that call in your life. If they trying to hold you back from following the call in your life, yes, you forsake them. And you do what the Lord told you to do. But you don't just break up the marriage for that. That's not what he's saying. See, please don't contradict that. If your mom and dad is holding you back from the call God placed in your life, you want to be a missionary, you a missionary, but you a grown person. They saying, no, don't go in a missionary field because it's dangerous. Yes, it's dangerous in it, but it's also blessings in it. And if God calls you to that, you go ahead and do that. If God calls you to be that gospel singer in your choir in church, but it's some person holding you back or somebody in your ear talking about you can't sing, you ain't good enough. Or somebody telling you you can't act in that movie or you can't act in that gospel play or whatever play it is. I mean, or you can't do this or do that. And they holding you back from the things of the Lord. You don't listen to them. You forsake them. And do what the Lord told you to do. A lot of people said, Twine, you should stay here. You got a good paying job. 
Where you going? What's out there? I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I don't know. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I can't predict tomorrow. We got all these plans. We can't predict tomorrow. But he just said right here, you will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. I'm saved. I'm going to heaven. She's saved. You're going to heaven. My kids are saved. We're going to heaven. But a hundred times much. A hundred times much. Yep. He said go, so we're going. Yep. And uh, we want to thank everyone in Philadelphia who loved on us, who supported us, who prayed with us, for us, um, who walked with us through our our years here. So, um, so we're going to just uh, worship out and um, get in the bed <laughs> and be on our way in the morning. All right, so we're about to do the song what big wherever he leads i'll go all right let me a little swig of water and here we go all right ready i'm exhausted but we're gonna do this take up thy cross and follow me i heard my master say i gave Surrender your all today. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. He drew me closer to his side. I sought his will to know. And in that will I now abide. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. It may be through the shadows dim or o'er the stormy sea. I take my cross and follow him wherever he leadeth me. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. My heart, my life, my all I bring to Christ who loves me so. He is my master, Lord and King. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever you lead, we'll go. Wherever you lead, we'll go. Wherever you lead, we'll go. Wherever he leads, we'll go. Hallelujah. Wherever he leads, we'll go. We'll follow our 
Christ who loves us so, wherever he leads we'll go. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. He's been good to me. Hallelujah. 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 Our God reigns. Hallelujah. 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 Our God reigns. He lives. He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives. He lives. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, No matter where I go, always 215. It's in my heart. I grew up in Logan. I'm going to always take that with me. But I'm, I'm a Christian first. I'm a Christian first. I live and I die for the King, Jesus Christ. But born and raised in Philly. I loved it here. Now I'm going to start a new chapter in Michigan. Detroit, look out. Keep us in touch. Keep us in your prayers and keep worshiping until we see you guys next time. Yep. God bless. We out.